Which one of you did this? Which of you talentless hacks messed with my art? Calm down. We'll figure it out. Only blood can pay for this. Heads will roll. Tongues will be shorn from mouths. Guys, keep it down a little. People are trying to focus. Francine, you're the HR person. Do your job. I demand vengeance. Viper, whatever is going on here, I really don't care. Uh, you might want to check the latest build, Francine. I have to. Play it. Words cannot describe this atrocity. Okay, okay, fine. What's the problem? It looks fine. It looks fine. It looks fine. I'm surrounded by savages. Ah! Did you see the shark? Someone swapped it for a shiny next-gen 3D model. Didn't know our game could look so good. No, not good. This is an artistic disgrace. You did this, didn't you, Kevin? Uh, I don't even know how to open a 3D modeling program. You downloaded it from the internet. From some random asset market store or something. Dude, there's nothing wrong with asset markets. You don't want to have to rebuild the same generic desk every game. I'm above building desks, thank you very much. I meant like a general you, like all you artists. <laughs> Shows how much you know. It only starts with a desk. Then, one day, it's your main character. Next thing you know, you're addicted to this stuff, and your game is nothing but stock photos and pre-made environments and royalty-free sound effects, and then all the stock assets rebel against their masters and harvest your organs, and I've seen it happen! Hey, guys. Nice work on the new Shark Viper. Looks neat. Gah! I'm gonna go floss my eyeballs. You'll get used to it, Viper. Yeah, he'll be fine by tomorrow. Still, the art didn't just... Update on its own. I don't know. Sharks are pretty mysterious. Let us demystify this mystery pylon. You all knock yourselves out. I've got a meeting with Jeb. Viper might be on the verge of using some four-letter words. We'll never hit our target rating if that happens. Focus, pylon. We have a mystery to solve. Let's play again. Maybe there's a clue. Oh, come on. Are those all pylons bottles? Is Viper just always upset about something? Eh, no worse than most character artists. You have to be careful with them. Ugh, there's a reason no one plays these old games anymore. I wonder if I could convert this meeting room into a second storage room. I don't really want to play this thing again, but I guess I'm gonna...
Whatever. The shark looks good. Good morning, New England. I'm JT. With me, as always, is Rebel Breeze. Welcome to the Dice Pad, your source for game, film, and culture news. Breeze, tell me, what do you know about the store chain known as Cheap Random Assets and Provisions? Uh, not much, except they make pretty cheap stuff there. I have a lawn chair I got from them online. And did you know one is opening up in New England? Oh, really? Which state? Doesn't matter. I get them all mixed up anyway. That's not the important part. Oh, what is? The new study that just came out about cheap random assets and provisions. Apparently all their stuff is like 95% kerosene. You mean 95% of the stuff tests positive for containing kerosene? Weird. No, I mean they are made out of solidified kerosene. I did not know you could make kerosene into a solid. Yeah, same here. Okay, so what's bad about that? Kerosene's pretty common. Sure, as a type of airplane fuel. Apparently, if you fill your house with stuff from this store, it can combust just from you looking at it. That sounds exciting. <laughs> yeah, there's no way that store stays open for long. Okay, now to the day's news. No, no, no. I want to talk about that more. We can't talk about that more. Wanda allocated like 30 seconds to that story on the schedule. No! Is my lawn chair going to catch fire? No, how should I know? We need to talk about the new Hugbot Color Dot flavors. Forget about the Hugbots. My apartment is going to explode. It's not going to explode, says the person who doesn't own the exploding lawn chair. I gotta get home. We're in the middle of the show, Breeze. Calm down. They're making a pumpkin spice hug bot. I don't care about pumpkin spice hug bots. All right, everyone. We'll uh, be right back. Some waiters like this are just a quirk of working in an old building. I'm pretty sure locking a bunch of programmers in the basement is against some state regulation, but I'm not going to be the one to let them out. The cereal is made for little kids. No wonder all the developers like it. I know Viper gets a tad pushy, but he's gotten so much better at using his words. Huh. A squirrel? At least she's not a cat person. I'm not overreacting, okay? Now where's my baseball bat? I'm hallucinating anger squirrels! Okay. I'm just gonna give you some space, big guy. This is Black Belt Betty. The Black Belt is in Suffragette. Voting is sweet. Timothy, can you go calm that idiot down? I'm sorry, I can't do that. Why does anyone ever ask you anything? anything from the storage closet right now. I need to talk to Jeb.
Hello out there! Tell Viper to shut up already! I'm trying to record! I haven't been able to open this fridge since that stupid creature moved in. Ugh, this thing is disgusting. There's no way I let Jeb keep anything important in these. I let Jeb think he's the only one with a key to this cabinet. Hey, Jeb. You wanted something? Ah, uh, yes. There you are. So, we have some guests coming by later this week. Important executives with even more important money in their wallets. Yeah, so? So, I need you to spruce up this office a bit. We're looking drab and too... office-y. We need to look hip or, or artsy. This place needs to look so artsy that these people leave Friday feeling culturally outmatched, but ultimately warm and gooey about us. Friday? Like, two days from now? Look, it's okay because I know you're good at your job, and two days is a lot of time. It's not like tomorrow morning. Two days to pick out, assemble, and rearrange an entire office? From scratch. All for some dog and pony show you gotta do? Why don't we spend that time on the game? These people are investors, Francine. They don't care about the game. They care about fancy, uncomfortable furniture and resin statues of things from our game. We don't have any resin statues from our games. Well, then resin statues from someone else's game. They won't know the difference. With no time. Really, Jeb? Like, really? What's my budget? Just make sure everything has a good return policy. You know. And keep positive. This is a growth opportunity. Right. So... Two days. I can do this. I'm gonna make the best damn redecorated office ever made. Morning, Ben. Lovely day, isn't it? Morning, Joan. Yeah, it... holy shit! Man, what the hell? Y'all know there's a big-ass dinosaur in the middle of the office? Not now, Ben. There's a mystery to solve. Detective Pylon shall emerge victorious. Yeah, Francine brought that in a few minutes ago. She's got a truck full of stuff outside. Damn it. If it's not one thing, it's another. Hey, Francine. Do you know anything about the dinosaur? It's kind of blocking my desk. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Impulse buy from the checkout aisle. We can move your desk. Uh, you mean move the dinosaur? I didn't buy that thing to put it halfway across the office. 
I bought it to sit next to it. Hey, help me get some stuff off the truck. There's more? Yeah. I just discovered the most amazing store ever. You won't believe how cheap everything is. Now hop up here and help. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. Nope. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. Okay. Seriously, did you really have to put the lamp all the way in the back? Okay, okay. There's a crap ton of stuff in here. Yeah, it's not all going to the office, though. I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've seen this store, Ben. Okay, there we go. There we go. Seriously, did you really have to put the lamp all the way in the back? There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Do we need any of this stuff? That's not the point, Ben. Come on, 
act American. Really, come on, a knife with dinosaur? I could have gotten the 18 foot one. Okay. 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 Doesn't move. Okay. Thanks. I really appreciate your help. It was a mess in there. Look, I didn't have time to be all delicate with it. I need to go back and get more. More? Francine, does Jeb know about this? Of course. I mean, mostly. He wants to impress some executives. With a crappy dinosaur. This is kitsch, not crap. The store is a godsend. They have wood-paneled water coolers and cheap carpets and crepe machines. The studio doesn't need a crepe machine. The studio doesn't not need a crepe machine. Can you bring these things inside? I'll be back soon. Where did all this stuff come from? Francine found some new furniture store or something. Oh, is it cheap random assets and provisions? They just opened up nearby. I'm not crazy, Emma. This stuff looks bad, right? Well, it doesn't quite match the office style. Ugh, that sofa looks like barf from the 70s. Where did all this junk come from? Francine's gone on a redecoration crusade. You didn't notice the dinosaur? Wait, that's real? I thought only I could see that. Yeah, it's real, dude. Hey, can you see the chandelier demons too? Uh, no. Ah, crap. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out this store and see if I can talk Francine down. Ooh, can I come? They advertise on public access radio, you know. Alright, well... Let's go quick. Okay, so Ben, Viper, and Julie all deny knowing anything about that new shark mesh. That leaves Jeb and Francine. You know Francine pretty well, right? Could it be her? Uh, yeah. Well, we don't talk too much anymore. But I don't think that fits her M.O. What about Jeb? Jeb doesn't know how to turn on a computer. Ah, yeah, right. Any clues from the game itself? The new Shark Model's file name was temp underscore shark underscore revision b underscore final underscore final two underscore complete. Ah, the naming convention of an experienced developer, I see. Don't we have a change log for things like this? Uh, huh? She's right. Our backup system tracks every change. We just need to get that change log from the engineers. Awesome. Let's send them a note. Well, someone made us get rid of all our interns. No sacrificial interns, no help from the engineers. That's the rule. Unless we can find something else they want, right? Maybe we can bring them coffee. Everyone likes fancy coffee. Pylon, you're a tech artist. That's half engineer. Would an engineer like that? Definitely not. Not enough sugar. Chai tea lattes, then? That might work, but someone still has to go down there and deliver them. I'd go, but the engineers hate me. And if I go, I'll never come back. They've been trying to recruit me for years. Okay, fine. I'll go. How bad could it be? 
Would you look at this place? It goes on forever. This is a lot more than just office supplies. <gasps> hey, there's a Tim Curry poster. I did not know I needed that. Ooh, and kettle corn. Everyone likes kettle corn. We're not here to shop, Joan. We're here to stop Francine from shopping. Why not just take her company credit card away? Oh, there's a yarn section. I don't know about that. I mean, she said Jeb gave her approval. How good are you at sneaking? Joan? Joan? All right, I guess I'm on my own. You again, miss? This is your third visit today. Do I need to cut you off and call you a cab? Spare me the jokes. Just ring me up. Fine, okay, fine. Yoink, I'll take that. Ben, what are you doing here? Give that back! It was Joan's idea. Listen, we're just here to talk. We don't need all this worthless crap. Oh, no, no offense. Nah, it's okay. Give it back, Ben. I've totally got Jeb's okay on this. Really? Jeb wants you to buy a cardboard cutout of a cactus cowboy. This place is incredible, Francine. I know, right? Tell Ben to give me back the company card. Ben, look around a little. There's gonna be something you like, too. What in God's name is that? It says his name is T. Pose Yorick on the tag. Give Francine back her card and let's check out already. Joan, you came here to help, remember? Look, that bastard gave me two days to redecorate the entire office. This store is the only reason he's getting anything. Now get out of my way. Ow! Huh, that was a bit extreme, Joan. I've never used somebody else to knock out a person before. Let's get him back to the office. Just so you know, this is probably a suicide mission, but that's okay, you can still go. All right. Just don't think about how dark it is, or about how the shadows call to you to join them forever. Uh, what? Okay, this is life or death. Now, it's important to not talk to anyone down there but the lead engineer. Yeah, no talking. That just riles them up. And make sure that they don't steal all your chais. You need to save one for the lead engineer. Here are some really dim holiday lights I found. You could use these to help you light your way. Are you sure you want to go? Um, no, not really. Well, it's too late to turn back now. We bought all these chives. Wait, how will I know which one is the lead engineer? Just look for the one with the most monitors. Engineers get their power from the number of monitors they have. You got this, Midge. Oh, man, my head. Joan, is that you? How we get back? Where's Francine? She's gone back to the store. Sorry I had to knock you out. You knocked me out? What the hell, Joan? Francine has a vision for the studio, Ben. I was blind before, but I see it now. And once you see what we've done, you'll see it too. Oh no. What did you two do, Joan? Have a look, Benjamin. Okay, yeah, wood paneled water coolers look as cool as they sound. Of all the things in here, I think the dinosaur makes the most sense. There's gotta be hearts inside that pottery. I know it. This is a Hugbot plushie. It's a limited edition plushie. What the hell are we gonna do with a cauldron? We're not a damn microbrewery. Are you real, Ben? Or are you another hallucination? Uh, yeah, I'm real, man. Francine's out of control, dude. Hmm, fake Ben would say something like that. Leave me alone, fake Ben. That sword is way too close to Viper's desk. Who thought that was a good idea? Yeah, who the hell is this? An anchor. Right. Okay. No one needs this much luggage. All right, couch. I didn't think you were gonna be the most ordinary thing I saw today. Yeah, you're gonna clean this up, right, Timothy? I'm sorry. I can't do that. Well, I guess we didn't need to get to the meeting room. Ah, oh, well. Voxel blocks? Wow. 
At least my desk got something cool like the dinosaur. Jeb, listen, Francine's lost it. She's gone ballistic. Hello, employee. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I gave Francine an important task and I expect her to deliver. She's making our office look like a toddler sticker book. That sounds fun. I should go check, and I will, once I'm done pondering. Pondering time is crucial for a good boss. Oh, hey, fruit. Oh, it's wax. Dang it. You will come to see things our way, Benjamin. is Rebel Breeze. Welcome to the Dice Pad, your source for game, film, and culture news. Breeze, tell me, what do you know about the store chain known as Cheap Random Assets and Provisions? Uh, not much, except they make pretty cheap stuff there. I have a lawn chair I got from them online. And did you know one is opening up in New England? Oh, really? Which state? Doesn't matter. I get them all mixed up anyway. That's not the important part. Oh? What is? The new study that just came out about cheap random assets and provisions. Apparently all their stuff is like 95% kerosene. You mean 95% of the stuff tests positive for containing kerosene? Weird. No, I mean they are made out of solidified kerosene. I did not know you could make kerosene into a solid. Yeah, same here. Okay, so what's bad about that? Kerosene is pretty common. Sure, as a type of airplane fuel. Apparently, if you fill your house with stuff from this store, it can combust just from you looking at it. That sounds exciting. Yeah, there's no way that store stays open for long. Okay, now to the day's news. No, no, no. I want to talk about that more. We can't talk about that more. Wanda allocated like 30 seconds to that story on the schedule. No! Is my lawn chair going to catch fire? No, how should I know? We need to talk about the new Hugbot Color Dot flavors. Forget about the Hugbots. My apartment is going to ex- What the heck is this thing? An antenna? A humidifier? All right, I guess this thing is okay. Whatever it is. There, ben. What are you two doing in here? We're waiting for Midge. She's downstairs. Downstairs? With the engineers? Is she out of her mind? We're gonna solve the mystery of the shark. Mystery of the... what? Y'all are still on about that crap? Have you looked at the studio? No, we've been in here doing important stuff. Duh. Why? Okay, look. Francine and Joan have gone rogue. They found some new weird store and they're redecorating the office. So? So... Go look, guys. We've got to wait for Midge. Just poke your damn head out there already. Huh, that's different. Ooh, there are so many things to look at. This looks wild. No, it doesn't look wild. It looks garish as hell, dude. God knows how much she's costing the studio. She's mad with power. All that detail is clouding my judgment, but I think you're overreacting. You know, now that I think about it, Francine can go on power trips. I heard that. Francine, you need to stop this. We can't work in a place like this. I can. We're supposed to be making a game. You made it look like an explosion at the Charm Bracelet Factory. 
You need an intervention. I figured you might try and stop me again. Luckily, they sell everything at cheap random assets and provisions. Even stock template game developers. Whoa, are those real? Hey, let's not do anything rash, Francine. Shut it, Kevin. There's one for each of you. Stock template developer gonna take my job. Thanks. <laughs> You're done getting in my way, Ben. Joan, keep an eye on them. You can't do this! Yeah! This is definitely against some HR policy. Oh, relax. I'll let you out on Saturday, once Jeb has his little- Hey! Put me down! You're supposed to listen to what I- ah! You plastic moron! Don't you know you're under warranty? Well, now, that was rude. Let us out! <sighs> okay, so, no big deal. Just gonna go wander into a pitch black basement filled with God knows what while carrying chai teas. Just another work day, right? Right. Okay, don't let them get my chai tea lattes. Save them for the lead engineer.
to think my folks wanted me to go to law school. Sugar. Does it have fancy coffee? Wait, we get to do this for free? Will it be? Who comes? Oh, God. Once I ship my first game, I'll get a real name. I've been an intern for years. <laughs> Working on the game. Says they give me sugars, but no sugars we has. Says they give me sugars, but oh no. God. That must be them, the lead engineer. directions my ass what's wrong with your friend nothing's wrong with handsome t-pose york this is just the way he is and he's perfect do these go down why would the arms need to go down 
Is he alive? Hello in there. Kill me. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. We don't speak bubble. Man, here I was hoping to have a normal, productive day for once. I hope you're happy, Francine. Oh, shut up, Ben. I was doing good work, and you know it. Yeah, well, your good work just took our jobs. Literally. Those things are sitting at our desks. Aw, they think they're people. Right. Like that will fool anyone? Whoa, Francine! This place is so over the top! Good work! Nothing I'm seeing makes any sense. Which must mean it's very artsy. Ah, uh, yeah. I knew you could deliver. Damn it, Francine. Learn to take a compliment. I'll be in my office. Admit it, Francine. You got a problem. Yeah, these doppelgangers. I mean, all this, not just these weird, creepy-ass mannequin things. All that stuff out there, that's the problem. I tell you what. Let's deal with the fake game developers first. And then we can talk about redecorating. Deal. Who do we still have on the outside? Uh, we got Jeb. Anyone useful? Julie? She hasn't left the recording booth since August. Maybe Midge. Where is Midge? Oh, right. Midge. Um, hello. Are you the lead engineer? Hi, I'm Midge, the new animator. I, uh, I replaced Javier. Uh, sorry I didn't come down to introduce myself earlier. I know, kind of rude, right? Look, I don't want to bother you all, but, um, something got changed with the build yesterday, and we're curious if you could, uh, check the logs? I brought you chai lattes. You want me to put them there? Uh, okay. Oh, this this is the check-in log. Check-in 4702, 12:15 a.m. Okay, so around midnight last night, submission notes added revised shark model with fancy shaders. Contributor Midge P. This can't be right. That's me. Viper! Psst. Viper! Huh? Who's talking? Damn bees. I bet it was office bees again. Viper! Ugh, damn it. Who is it already? Over here! Are you real Francine or fake Francine? I've been, like, seeing stuff ever since yesterday. I see stuff when I get mad sometimes. What? Let us out. Can't. Door handle's gone. But, yeah, there are like a bunch of faceless nightmare people out here. It's weirding me out, but they're fake. They're real. They locked us in here. Oh, man. There are more of you jokers in there? Look, uh, this situation is dire. The office is filled with hostiles. You're the only one who can save us. I knew this day would come. Okay, how do you kill these nightmares? They're not alive. They're just made of polystyrene. Really? Will they give you cancer if you lick them? Only in California. Whoa, whoa. Just so we're clear, I'm not licking anybody, okay? Lucas, people? Just, like, set them on fire or something, Viper. You're kidding me. The one day I left my flamethrower at home. You have a flamethrower? Duh. I have the official Sweaty Blood 14 Collector's Edition Fully Functional Flamethrower. Signed by a bloody Chuck cosplayer. I guess I can run home and get it. No need. I got a flamethrower from that store. You have a flamethrower too? Uh, no. It's the office flamethrower. I think it's over by the wood chipper. We have a wood chipper? It was in the clearance section, okay? All right, so get the flamethrower, set everything on fire. These things are toast.
Handsome Tipos, Yorick. Oh, damn. Viper, you set the studio on fire. Hey, what did you think would happen? Francine, what do we do? Why are you asking me? Use the fire extinguisher. That's on fire, too. So, bad news, everyone. As you all know, the studio caught fire today. We lost all the Francine's hard work. It turns out everything she bought was extraordinarily flammable. Yeah, I'm sorry I got carried away, everyone. It was fun while it lasted, though, so I can't promise I won't do it again someday. Also, while structural damage was minimal, we've had to cancel our upcoming investor meeting. It's a real shame. It would have been great to get those investors in here. I can practically smell their wallets. That's smoke damage. On the plus side, insurance payout from the fire should keep us going for a few months. So, yay. Now everyone, get to work cleaning this place up while I go ponder this. Whew, glad that's all settled. Who knew cheap goods were so dangerous? Oh, uh, Joan, we have to destroy Yorick too. Oh, he'll be chained up in my basement, don't you worry. Well, all right then. Hey, Midge. Did the lead engineer tell you who added the shark mesh? Uh, yeah. They, uh, they said it was a rendering optimization. Really? An optimization? I believe it. Engineers never lie. They refactor instead. Huh. All right. Well, I guess that means we can't change it back, huh? Viper won't be happy. We shouldn't change it back anyway. Have you looked at the meter? The meter? Oh! Hot heckin' damn! Four out of ten? Yeah. I've never seen that number go up before. Huh. Now we just need to keep that up till we release. Maybe we can convince the engineers to optimize their stuff more. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>